Good morning everybody. Welcome on back to the channel. It is time for another outdoor adventure. Today we're getting out on the water powered by, sponsored by our buddies over at Mercury. That's right, just finishing up breaking in my new Pro XS and it is a dandy. I think this one's got a little more pop to be honest with you. Silver Bullet feels like it's got a little bit more powder behind it, you know what I mean? But anyway, if you're looking to repower an old boat, or just getting a new boat, check out Mercury. You can check out all their, their stats. Tons of different kinds of motors. Uh, link down in the description. Now, folks, um, we got chickens now. You know, I love having chickens back. And I got to say, um, these chickens are fantastic because they came from a wooded area. Uh, the, the guy, Kyle, that I got these chickens from, his, his home is very, very similar. Uh, to mine and so these chickens feel pretty pretty comfortable and there's no there's no training I mean he already trained them to get up on the roost and everything it's fantastic and those chickens they do they naturally do something all chickens do they hunt and they peck and they find things sometimes they find a snake and they're out here hunting around this morning we had a big rain last night so I wanted to find some worms they have not found a snake but I have I was out here with them with my rake I was out here doing a little raking um, because we had a big old mess and then I started looking up in here and keep in mind folks this is this is where I spend a lot of time when the kids spend a lot of time look look we got kids chairs right here this is where Amy swings the Merc is right there silver so bullets right here and uh, look who done come out this is a juicy one here Look who done crawled up in that hole and is ready, coiled and ready. That's our old friend, the copper schnoz. It is always something here at the treehouse, folks. When you when you live in the woods or close to the woods, you gotta expect these things. And you know, there's always something. I at least gotta get my morning juice in my system before I decapitate a. a little copper nose ninny muggins mm. so last year I bought myself just for these situations a snake grabber and that's not one you want to stick your hand in so if me Stephanie uh, you know the neighbor's dog and God forbid one of our children um, is crawling around these rocks gets tagged it's, uh, it's not only a bad day, but it's a very, very expensive day. Chickens, do you know what I'm saying? I think this one's a little big for you guys. I'm going to have to take over the reins here and uh, pluck this baby out, okay? They don't even know it's here, to be honest. They really don't. They're being such good little worm diggers right now, though. You guys are being great. Oh my gosh, I really don't want them to find it. All right, you guys need to get out of here. That one's about to step on it. Oh my gosh. That is, uh, by the way, that's a rooster. Um, that's a rooster in the making right there. So, didn't know when uh, when I got these chickens what they were going to be, totally. And uh, that guy is starting to get his uh, saddle feathers, which I'll show you here in just a second. Let's get the snake first. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a basically a full grown one right there. Ugh, that is nasty. Chickens, you know what that is? That is not good. So it has just rained. But I just want to show you guys, the ground is pretty dark, but I just kind of want to show you guys. It's daggum near, dag near impossible 
when these things get into the oak leaves. When they get into these oak leaves, it's like perfect camouflage. I don't, Lord, I don't know why you did this this way, but um, it makes it tough. That right there, folks, is about as full grown of a copperhead as you're gonna find. Now, the, the head is still really dangerous. You know, here's the tail, still moving. But that head can still get somebody, so I'm gonna take this to the side yard way far away and bury it, and then clean off my knife real good so we don't have any venom. And then, we can go give it a dangle. There's always something here at the treehouse, I swear. Where's my chickens, by the way? Here we are at the mud pit. That's gonna be the challenge today, folks. Three inches of rain last night within an hour just rushing water into the lake this happens during the spring so that is going to be our our crux today fishing muddier water can have its advantages it heats up quicker it's just that when it happens super quick the fish don't have a lot of time to adjust to it and uh, especially this situation like they're probably on beds a lot of them and they've got more water on top of them now and that can sometimes get them all messed up. But at least I don't have to worry about stepping on a snake out here. Cause I'm in a brand new shiny glitter sled, baby. Of course, being at the tree house, there could be one in here. You never know. waylaid right there couldn't quite fully find it I'm actually seeing the shad using this leaves as a well they're eating they're eating little micro things on the leaves like offshore floating reefs here and it is time to change. The sun is blaring. Yep, that's shirt on the month right there. Bed fishing. And if you want to protect your full, beautiful skin, if you want to keep your skin looking luscious for years, you just throw on a little performance. Performance long sleeve. This is where we stay cool and dry. <laughs> We just found a little crappie pile. Yes, we did. Oh man, that's a juice pot right there. I'm uh, not feeling the size, but they're set up to eat, eat properly. And I just so happen to have some new little little danglers here somewhere do a little dangle crickets oh where'd they go come on Adam there they be oh yeah that's the juicy bones shoo man just look at this deliciousness of this nugget here. Oof, man. I don't think one's going to be able to resist that. That's the little one there. It's just going to get chopped. Oh, my. Here we go. Get ready to get nipped. Got one on it. Nice. Got another one coming. Got 
These are gonna be littles. Oh, maybe not. A little drag pull there. Hello, bing bong. Bing bong. Sorry, kid. It's just that time of year. It's the harvest time. Okay, I'm just gonna face that the odds are just against me today. The wind is picking up tremendously now. I just fished in a super muddy creek. I've got I got one bite. I've had three bass bites all day. I've got one crappie in the box. I've got a white bass. Yeah. All right, I just got home. Stephanie uh, is like out of groceries completely. I, this this must be fate because I I honestly would have thrown this crappie back if I didn't know I was gonna catch any more good ones, but I kept him. And that's lunch. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. You know, I love to try new recipes with with fish, learn different things. I think today I'm gonna descale this guy and eat it like this. This is a black crappie, by the way. I'm going to just scale it, uh, cut the head off, you know, take the guts out, and then I'm gonna cook it that way in a little butter in a pan. You know, maybe find, scrounge up a vegetable or something, and that's gonna be my lunch, so yeah. Not a bad crappie, probably a 12 incher. Sorry, Matt, I'm gonna use your cooler. Oh, this is gonna be messy. This knife I'm using has kind of got a back blade that works for doing this. But I'm basically just going up to that fin. And I think if I was in like a survival situation, this would be how I would do it. Get the most out of the meat. But this little fish cleaning board, it's nice to have. It works, works well for this. I can kind of put that tail in there and scrape it. Scales everywhere. Break out a bigger knife. There we go. Now we got our head. Let's see what the chickens think about this. What do you guys think about this? A little fish head? Something with some eyeballs? Get after it. They are, uh, they're not as voracious as my other ones, you know. I feel like the other ones I could have probably just taken anything in here, any sort of body, and they would just devour it. Those are a little more cautious, but we'll let them nibble on that fish head, and I need to eat this one myself. You ever had a skin on crappie? No, I thought you were gonna laugh at all my groceries. I see you got groceries delivered. <laughs> I came in here, there was nothing. Now there's groceries, now I just got Crappy. <laughs> You're like, hey, hon, what's for lunch? Yeah. I want to hold it. You want to hold it? Well, it's oh. really gooey. Ooh, what's on your hands? Paint. Oh, okay. You can't touch my crappy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo. This thing's getting hot quick. Yeah. You want a speedy lunch. I want, I want a speedy lunch, honey. That is the skillet to use. Okay. It's probably going to have a lot of bones in it. We're just going to give it a whirl. Sizzling. Maybe put a little, uh, little lemon on in there. What do you think, little man? He's trying to get a little curl back there. It's getting a little curly what like this? pops. What's this doing? <laughs> then it's very into sticks right now. Sticks, poles, rods. Mm -hmm. Big stick guy. Huge stick guy. All right, a little golden crispy here. Afternoon golden crispies makes me feel so frisky. That's my jingle for the day. You're welcome. I'll be honest with you, I went a little past the mark, I think. She's crispy. She's golden. Past golden. But it, I just wanted to make sure it's cooked all the way because it, you know to get down in there in those bones and everything you got to let it cook for a minute without the without 
having the nice fillet off the bone. So I'm going to let this cool for a sec. I'm um, going to get a little bit of ketchup, maybe make a little sauce. All right, finish her up here. A roasted tomato. Got some lemon juice squeezed on top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know we like our tomatoes. Oh man, if I had a vegetable garden, that'd be it. That'd be done. Okay, kids are going a little crazy on the back deck, so I'm going to sit in my dad chair, my favorite chair in here in the house where I can view everything, see what's going on, yell at somebody if they're getting on any kind of furniture they don't need to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, this is working. And with this sauce we got going, mm, come on now, a little mayonnaise, a little ketchup, a little black pepper. Oh yeah, whole large boy. Mmm. Yo, oh, it's flaking off that bone nicely. You know, this is similar to eating a trout. Mm. Oh yeah. No, this is the way to do it, um, camp style. You know, if if you only have a couple of them, I think if I next time I get a giant. I might try it this way, baking it. But you're getting the absolute most meat off the fish as possible. Switched it up today, I did a little, um, a little Traeger fin and feather seasoning, and it's pretty good. I'm interested in this little rib cage area, what we can even get out of it. Oh, we're getting a little meat here. I'm going to just try the skin that's been on this rib cage right here. No bones in it. Hmm. Okay. See, I managed to get a little meat there. And I got the skin. That's, that's a bite I've never taken off crappie. Alright. Here's the big test. How's this bone going to pull out? Ooh. Check this out, y'all. Done right. That's perfect. So now I can even take this baby, slide this off the rib bones. Look at that. Bones totally out. Now we can just focus on the, the glory that is the crappie, the body. A couple little bone obstacles I need to figure out. A proper cleaning technique with that, but there I go. That is a good fisherman lunch right there. Mmm. Clean to the bone, baby. Sorry, chickens. Nothing left. All right, y'all. Before we sign it off today, I want to uh, show you the cockerel. Cockerel is the name for a young rooster. These kind of cool feathers that are raining down. Between his uh, tall tail feather and his wings, that's that's called the saddle feathers. And that's how we know that he's gonna be a rooster. So I uh, I need a rooster name in the comments. What's it gonna be? You know, of course, once I name him, he's kind of like a pet. It's kind of stuck here. I don't know. Uh, roosters are loud. I may have to. I just may have to figure out this situation. But I think it would be cool to have a rooster in the mix to. You know, watch out for predators and have some talons. You know, let's see them fight back a little bit. You know, we'll fight back against the foxes and the bobcats and the raccoons. I want, I want to see that. I want a little, little revenge. So, old buddy over here, we're not going to enter you in any fights. I just need you to protect the flock, if you don't mind. And that is all that today's adventure holds. So, uh, thanks for being with me in another day in the great outdoors, warming up quite nicely. We can uh, get this mud. To go away i think the fishing is going to be be really good this this whole month we're gonna have, we've had a late spawn so it's just gonna go on until may i think and just be 
really nice. So, so thank you all for tuning in today. Shout out to Mercury again for sponsoring today's video. And God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. See you next time.